Okay. Hey guys, Taryn Quintero here with Cosmetic Aesthetics. I just wanted to come on video today and show you guys what we're doing because it's a rare case. I don't get a ton of these, but I do like doing them. I'm one of the only people that does them, and that's why I want to help spread the word. Um, I know Steven, obviously my, my ex-partner, he does them as well, Steven Greitzer. Um, so I'm doing a correction today. This guy right here, he went on several consultations. Um, he was told, you know, your head is pretty, he actually wanted to darken it. That's why he, he was looking into having it redone. He had it done, what'd you say, like 2011? When did you have your first one done? 11? 2016. Uh, 2016, totally off. Um, so over time he has shifted a little bit blue, as we all know can happen now. Any pigment can turn blue. If somebody tells you otherwise, they are lying. Um, so, and it's because of their skin. I shouldn't necessarily blame it on the pigment. It can be because of skin, environment, all kinds of things. So he was told by two other people, you know, you're pretty saturated. Um, I don't want to touch you, which is completely understandable. If you don't have extensive knowledge in color theory, yes, don't, don't attempt something that you don't know how to do, right? So basically because he's blue, I'm going in with orange today. Orange and blue cancel each other out, neutralize each other. It's going to turn it brown. Okay, and instead of going in with straight orange, which I did try in the beginning, you know, just like if we're starting out with a new fresh scalp, we got to get to know their skin at first. We're going to do a couple little test patches. The straight orange was pretty much too packed in. So what I did was I put a full cap of orange. Go ahead and zoom in over here. All right, so I did a full cap of orange. This is just saline, guys, and then ignore this brown one. We're not using that one. And then I put one drop of carbon in, and it actually turned a little bit too brown. So I then put it into another cap. I split it half and half, and then I added more orange. I diluted it with about four drops of dilution, okay? Maybe even five drops, four or five drops. And so it's not as dense, but what's going to happen with this orange is that orange has titanium dioxide in it, okay, which we all know is pretty scary in the industry, or hopefully people are scared of it. If you know how to use it, it's fine. Um, but what's going to happen is that the orange and the titanium molecules are bigger than that carbon black and then the carbon black that's already in his head from 2016. So it's basically going to swallow up that pigment and trap it. And what the titanium is actually going to do long term is act as a sunscreen. So it's going to keep that color the same. Once we get it neutralized, it might take me two sessions to get it like fully neutra neutralized. Um, but that titanium is going to actually trap the other molecules and use act as a sunscreen. So it's really, really cool. Um, you know, again, take my color theory webinar if you want to, if you're interested, and I'm always available afterwards to help you guys out, answer your questions, but it's pretty cool. You can actually see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it changing right before my eyes. Literally, it turns, it turns, neutralizes it right in front of you. Um, it is going to fade a little bit. So like if you were to zoom in, I don't think she's can because he's got long hair, but you can see some little here and there, little specks of orange, but it's basically excess ink. Okay. So just like with regular SMP or, or Trico, when you're doing it, it is going to fade a little bit. So you're not going to see that orange and you know, within a few days, it's totally going to fade. Um, and then we'll do our second session and I think he'll probably be solid after two sessions. So Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions, all right?